Yeah, it was lockdown. So before I went to uni, I didn't finish my year 13. I was in lockdown. Mm. So they had that whole thing crazy. Bad time on our hands. And what would make me do this? I don't know. I just remember I got given a blank pair of black cargoes. Mm. And obviously loads of time. So I just got like a silver paint pen. Mm. And then put them there. Remember getting my little notebook, sketching out a few designs about what I was going to draw in it. Mm. And then two things I was going to choose. It was either surf or wave. And I know it all ties back to Young Thug. Like, you know, bear rappers used to rap about waves. There's a rich kid, rich the kids song called New Wave. Like, mm. I just remember that. And I just, as I said, music's always been so like, important to me. So I remember wanting to do something that if my brand was to go clear, mm. like, bear rappers would talk about. <laughs> oh, that was your yeah, thinking? Yeah, that was it. it. So it was either wa- Wave or Surf. <laughs> I think, do you remember the Young Thug song called Surf? Surf. Yeah, yeah, surf. yeah, yeah. So it's surf. either one of them. Surf it. I don't yeah, know if yeah. that had come out by then, but I want it makes sense for it. So I chose Wave and I put found a font, did like a massive print, cut it out, and then placed it on there, sketch around it. Mm. So it was a down one leg wave. And then I put like chains, I drew it, chains mm. on the other side of the leg. And that's crazy because I feel like there's something psychological behind me doing chains. Mm. I wouldn't do it. It, randomly but I can't remember where it you was. can't even you just you were just flowing yeah, yeah 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 so yeah and then that was first technical by wave piece which is one of one so combos. sorry to cut you Kobe but you kind of just did it because you were bored Lich, yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. Lich, so at this yeah. point it was never I'm going to start a fashion brand called by wave or it was just nah, nah. I'm bored I'm going to customize some nah. cargo yeah so it was that and then I remember I did that went to a charity store got some big jeans some mm. big jeans again back then no one was rocking wide leg jeans or wider leg jeans. And I got these big blue ones and I must've done a sketch and then I sent it to some girl. So I did my sketch and this girl used to paint on clothes mm. in my area, literally locked down. So I didn't have to travel. And I was like, can you paint this on there? So I think I say that early on because like not collaborating, but I was so aware from early on, like there's some things I can't do, mm. especially maybe because I was young and when I was trying to make art, it wasn't jam- like it so wasn't clicking. Really so I knew, like, but I could, I want to do this, I can't do it. Find someone to do it. Mm. So yeah, she painted them jeans for me. So then at that point, I had two pieces, and I remember just being like, yeah, like this is cool. Like I like it. Like it's nice to have something that I've just made myself. Mm. But at this point, it's fully just for Kobe. It's like, you don't it's care about... for me, yeah. So it's not a brand, it's just, I got pieces. Mm, it wasn't a brand. And then I had a tea. I did a... And I was like, I want to make it a brand. Mm-hmm. But it was never like, never money motivated. It was just like, I would like to see other people wearing something that I've made. Why? Because why not? I just thought it was so cool. Like, okay. One thing is, bare people saw the cargoes and they were like, this is hard. Like, okay. this is cool. Like, oh, can I have one? Or so? so that was definitely one thing. But then the realization that like, other people could be wearing this, I designed it. Mm. This, th- like, this was a concept in my head and now someone is just wearing it. Mm. Like, it was such a cool thing to me. So I designed the tea. It was a Lauren Hill tea. Why Lauren Hill? Favorite artist. Wow. It's too cold. Listen, to my mom, my mom played Lauren Hill all throughout like my childhood like mm. you know the miseducation of them big album yeah all what's your favorite throughout. song on it um oh, i don't know it changes all the time maybe to zion oh banger maybe x factor mm. maybe what's the one with d'angelo um i, I used to and there's that mary j blige i don't know there's too many bangers on there like i can't actually decide but for now let's say to zion okay that's how i'm feeling right now but yeah, so I used to listen to that all the time. And then I remember finding it when I was, say, like 14, 15. Mm. And like listening and realizing I knew all these songs from like when I was a young, young kid. Mm. Probably before Ghana. So okay. it might be the only thing I remember before Ghana was just this woman's voice and these beats. And so, yeah. And then funny enough, it was at the time... Marino was doing rap teas, isn't it? Mm. He was popping. To me, Marino was like that He's guy, that guy like, man. bro. Like no one designs a tea harder He's than Marino. That guy. So it only made sense for me. Like I was like, oh, let me do like a rap tea. Mm. But it's funny that even from the offset, like, cool. That was Marino was my reference. But I knew don't do it the exact same way as Marino. Mm. Otherwise, you've given nothing to 
You haven't bought anything? Nothing. Different? Nothing. Maybe. I don't think Marina had a Lauren Hill one at the time. So I was like, cool. That's the first one. And then I was like, like what can I include that he doesn't? So he always has pictures of the artist. But I was like, let me get the track list from mm. this educational Lauren Hill and put that on the front. So I tried it. From the offset, I was like, cool. I have my inspiration, my reference. But at the same time, don't go and do exactly what he's done. Mm. Switch it up a bit. So yeah, that was the T. I had a private, you know, Snapchat. Mm. I used a private, private, what private story. Private story, yeah. I put in my private story. I was like, does anyone want to buy this tea? Like, mm. I'm gonna order a couple. Like, let me know. I remember I sold like, I want to say like 14, which is crazy. That's, That's mad, sick, bro. Sick. That's so sick. That was almost like your first shop. You sold yeah. out. Yeah, <laughs> technically I sold out because I, I did pre-order order, in yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was like, I didn't tell anyone outside this little private story. Mm. Kept it real quiet. But yeah, 14 pieces. And I was like, that's crazy. So at that point, you knew you had something. Nah, nah. That's just a, that's just a thing though. Like, mm. It was just like, it was lockdown, isn't it? So I wouldn't say I had something, but I remember thinking like, this is cool and I want to do it again. Okay. I wanna... But obviously right now, them time, still the focus is eventually finishing your final year of college and that going on to uni. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was just you wasn't me. thinking, oh, okay, now I'm going to start a brand. And... Nah, nah. So when did all. that change happen when did that actually become a thought process so i say me having a brand became a thought process first year as in okay so after that i dropped the two t-shirts yeah mm -hmm. again and this one proper website to the public everyone can access it um that was still in lockdown. Wait, did, wait, wait wait sorry that's mm -hmm. how did you know how to make a website and all of this stuff you got somebody else to do it for you or... oh okay this is six story as well so i use wix yep to this day, I use Wix. Everyone's going to throw hate on me because everyone, <laughs> everyone uses Shopify. But, but like, your website's wavy. I was on it yesterday. Uh, before it took years to get there. Mm -hmm. like, not years, but like before my old my websites were whack. They were terrible. Got to start somewhere. Though. Exactly. But um, for the website, shout out Mac. Me and guy called Mac Ultra, we did that. He's so crazy. So shout out him for that. Um, So the re how I made the website, again, like... That's one thing with me is like I've tapped in with so many people like, and I always want to go back and show love to them because mm. there's a guy called Giolo. He had a brand called Locomodo. And again, I'm seeing this and to me, it's just so crazy. Like seeing someone have a website that you can just go and purchase gums off. I'm like, how the hell does someone okay, how do you get, get there? there? Yeah. So I hit him up and I was just like, how do you do this? Like, like I'd already started on Wix and I started building it, but it just wasn't working. Like I was really, and he was like, I use Wix as well so and i remember he sent me like a screen recording of him like 15 minutes talking me through it and like was this guy from outside london oh i didn't know him mm. random guy just hit up on instagram and like the amount of love for that is crazy that's just so genuine and that's rare you know kobe bro I says you're in fashion a lot of people don't really like collaborating that's what i'm saying that's why i need to like make it clear how all these little steps happen because people show me love like i feel like that's like God putting people in my path, but he still has his brand, his brand super sick, called Locomodo. And yeah, so I made the website, went live with the t-shirts. This was still lockdown. And this was when the whole um, Black History, not Black History, um, sorry, Black, Black Lives Matter, yeah, Black Lives Matter. So what I made the tees on was I made two Black History tees. So I made a Harriet Tubman t-shirt, mm. a Martin Luther King t-shirt. So from the offset, it was always, the minute I had the opportunity to do something deeper than clothes, mm -hmm. I jumped onto it. Like, I want to be able to speak through this. Mm -hmm. I want to be able to communicate something. But at this point, it wasn't by wave. It, it was, was just, it was just by wave. It no was just by wave. Mm -hmm. No foot. Okay, cool. So what did the by wave represent then? What did it by mean? By wave. So it came off the wave. Um, you mentioned before. From, yeah. yeah, being represented. And by was probably... By Bathing Ape. Oh, okay. So you yeah. just took inspiration from that. That's sick. Yeah. Yeah. It made sense. Thank you for watching another episode of Where's My Podcast. If you ever want to take in future episodes on the go, you can find us on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Whilst you're there, please leave us a five star review. It would really help. And also, don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, WMTV underscore LDN, to keep up to date with the latest goings on in UK fashion. Keep it locked.